If you followed my channel, you likely know that a small investment in a blockchain games land sale turned into some huge numbers in my early investor days in crypto. Now, why did virtual land do so well? I want to go into that today, as well as why I think there will be more huge gains on other blockchain games land sales. And I want to share the details that have just come out on an upcoming land sale that I'm very, very interested in. Welcome to the Crypto Rain channel. I'm your host, Jay Rain. If you like money and crypto and you're looking for a seasoned investor take on the crypto market, join the Rainmaker family. Do note I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a crypto investor myself, and I do own or plan to own most of what I talk about on this channel because I don't cover crypto projects that I don't believe in. Special thanks to our Patreon members. We do have a private Discord there. Our Patreon members get access to. Now make it rain on that like button and strap in for the show. Now it may seem a bit crazy right now when you hear this, so brace yourself. I predict that some blockchain gaming land will sell for more than $10 million for just one lot in the future. Now, it isn't that every lot will be worth that, but that some lots will, in some games, go for that and more. Now, that may seem crazy to you, but consider that last year in February, a buyer paid $1.5 million for nine Genesis plots in Axie Infinity. Seems like a lot, right? But then in December of last year, and let me pull it up. Your This is going to blow your mind. One Genesis plot, just one, sold for $2.5 million already. Now, why is it that a piece of land could sell for so much? Well, unlike games of the past, blockchain gaming allows real people to make money through them and even businesses and guilds to make money through them. They bring an economics model into games that has never been there before, at least not like this. Now, blockchain gaming embraces the idea of people exchanging value in games with each other. Now, there's been major economic value in games for the past 20 years, but trading between players for real money was not only shunned, it was harshly and permanently punished. MMORPGs like World of Warcraft were huge powerhouses of economic value secretly trading hands, all below the table, and some of them even using Bitcoin, so as to make it difficult for the game maker Blizzard to track it for fear of their accounts being shut down because of their black market trading of these items. Very different from that, blockchain gaming openly embraces this exchange of value and even encourages it and expects it. This is not only going to lead to a new era of gaming, but a new era of economics models within gaming, and it is going to bring in billions of dollars. Now, I was an early investor in land for Axie Infinity, yet I didn't have a crystal ball telling me Axie Infinity was going to go crazy, but I understood those principles I just shared with you. And it made perfect sense to me that blockchain gaming will change the world and that some games will have astronomical rises in their land values. And I think there are new games and games not even invented yet where land will sell for not just 2.5 million, but tens of millions for one plot. Though it is nice to think we could identify exactly which game will lead to land sales in the tens of millions of dollars. Well, it's impossible to know for sure at this point unless you can see into the future. And I can't. I'm just a normal investor. I have to make my best guesses. My investment in Axie Infinity wasn't because I had a magic crystal ball. It was a strategic bet where I felt the rewards outweighed the risks. Now, there's a new land sale coming up starting this week with Kitsumon. Now, you've probably heard of the game. I've covered it a few separate times. The breeding mechanism just dropped a week ago, and they did an exceptional job with it. 
starting this week, they will be launching their land sale. Now, I have their pricing and have spent a few days reviewing it and digesting it, and I like the value I see in it. Kitsuman is a strategic partner to the channel. Also, one of their team members has been a longtime rainmaker. Now, after taking a deep look at the land sale details, I felt it was good enough to bring to you and good enough that I will be buying land myself. So let's get uh, into some of the details. Let me share my screen here. There we go. When I'm looking at a land sale, I factor in a few things. Do I like the game itself? Does the price and value of the land make sense to where I think there is strong potential for gains? Right? To this first question, the game Kitsumon isn't playable yet. Much like back when I invested in Axie Infinity, the game wasn't playable for like 20 months from that point where I invested in its land sale. Kitsumon also isn't playable yet, but they do have breeding life, and I was quite impressed with their breeding mechanism. Check out the video I recorded a week ago in an AMA with some of the founders and see it. And I then spent three days playing with the breeding. I literally had to pull myself away from the computer at times because I was enjoying it and trying to figure out how to get some different cosmetic things, sometimes some different stats. And when I have to pull myself away from the computer because I'm enjoying it so much, to me, that is a good sign of smart development. All right. The second question I ask myself, does the price make sense? Well, let me share my screen again. Let me get into some things. So this, let's see if I, there we go. If you can see this. Ooh. So batch one of their private sale it starts at 85 dollars worth of their token kmc batch 2 100 120 150 175 i really like this price now also you see these different launch pads you have synapse network liquidity balthazar dow launch scotty beam i interviewed them like a year ago i know them just a little bit game station i know babylon's phantom starter and dare nft Okay, so if you participate through the launch pads, you can get an even cheaper price of $75. I'm personally quite happy with this $85. There is a link below to the pre-sale at this price, land price, that you can register or whitelist for that pre-sale. So go to that. The whitelisting happens this month, but go ahead and take care of it now if you're interested. That way you don't forget and miss out on the opportunity to participate. Now, I'll go into more details why I like this, but I really like it at that price. Now, if you look at those batch one price, $85, I'm, I'm extremely happy to that. Um, I, I, uh, I might have a slightly different feeling at $175. Not that that's a bad price. It's still pretty good, but that, for me, is an exciting price, even in this crypto winter where everything is so cheap and there's lots of options. Now, you can also stake their KMC token to get more land. And I was reading through how this works, and it seems that you can stake your land in this round for staking. It allows you to burn not only what you stake, but the rewards too. So in other words, if I staked, uh, so there's a 20% bonus. So say I put in there $71 worth of KMC because of the 20% bonus, is it 20, 15%, boy. Um, I was reading that a little bit ago. Uh, so it gives you, I think a 15% bonus. So let me say batch two, I did this cause these numbers are a little bit easier. And I put in $90 worth of KMC. Basically with the bonus, I would have enough to burn that part of it to get one land in batch two. So, that is okay burning 20 percent of all token yeah okay that's where the 20 percent number came in so it looks like both private sale and public auction will only be available through the kmc token this is just a little incentive for the token holders in that they will be burning 20 percent of the tokens collected during this sale so there will be a decrease in the total number of tokens it's a good 
tokenomics play, as well as 40% of the tokens taken in, they will use to provide additional liquidity. All right, so this is where it says, stake your KMC to get more land. And essentially, uh, I will post a link to this medium and you can click on this and it will take you to where you can stake to get more land. And you see, I put a stake in there myself. So this is stake round four. You can stake it and then be able to get, um, basically claim some land through here. Now I have much more KMC on the side and I did go through the whitelisting process myself so that I can buy as much, hopefully, I don't know what if there's a limit on how many you can buy, but hopefully as much as I want. All right. Now, buying the land gives you a blind box format. You don't know exactly what you're going to get if you participated in their egg sale. It was blind box as well. You didn't know what type of kitsune you were going to get or kitsune egg that you could later hatch. So you don't know which of the different biomes that you're going to get in this blind box format. Let me take you through some of the biomes that there are. So we have plains, we have forest, they're obviously rich in trees, desert, there's rare rocks that are hidden beneath the sands, the oasis, these are really rare and they're found only in the desert biomes. But these, you'd be really lucky if you got one of these. Um, there's snow biomes, glacier biomes, swamp biomes, badlands biomes, beach biomes, stone, moon touched, void, forbidden forest. There will also be different professions. And this is where the different biomes make sense, right? Mining, you're going to want to be mining where there's rich things hidden below you know, cooking, there's going to be fishing. It's going to be important that you're close to water for fishing. Alchemy, all types of different professions, right? And so that's why it makes sense to have all these different biomes. Now, do note in this article, there are different land types. Kitsumon features three different land types. This is what I wanted to share with you because this is exciting to me. There are standard special and premium every land type allows players full access to professions and all basic rpg elements but with special and premium land types offering many additional goodies that boost players ability to play and earn standard let's look at special will have kitsu breeding stations crafting alchemy and cooking quests item potions and food recipes and increased size storages premium lands premium lands are the rarest and most advantageous plots of land in the kitsuman world now premium lands can be seen as a great investment because their unique bonuses will be gravely needed for everyone playing the game the bonuses of a premium land are you will get a battle arena kitsu breeding stations rare quests for all professions pretty items potions food recipes and triple size storages notice something else they will have guilds in this right so i'll cover in just a second both that and guild you can then rent out your items i feel like this shows it a little bit better so essentially you're getting these in blind back format and say you whitelist right away and you're able to get in batch one of their private sale so you're paying 85 dollars worth of kmc is blind box whether you get a standard a special or a premium land and note the distribution 10 percent of them will be premium 20 percent will be special so in other words you have a 30 percent chance of getting an upgraded type of lot i like that a lot with 10 percent chance total so one in ten chance of getting a premium lot that type of stuff i love now axie infinity did something special that if you bought mystic plots i think you had a two and a half percent chance of getting their genesis one these are the ones that that went for so much right so a two and a half percent chance so i bought like 20 mystic plots hoping that I would get one because that actually gave me what, like a 50% chance of getting a mystic plot. And it didn't work out for me, but that, 
or not a mystic plot, but a Genesis plot. And it is one of those Genesis plots that sold for 2.5 million. Now, I, so I like the way they broke that down. It encourages people like me to buy a lot more lots so that I can at least have a good chance of getting a couple of these premium ones, which are exciting to me. I, I like that kind of thing with the bonus things. Now, later when they do the public auction, they'll start at 400. And I think this is a reverse auction that starts at $400 and goes backwards. Yeah, English auction with four prices of each. Long buyers to bid. Okay, the public round will be in an English auction, not a Dutch auction. So it starts at those prices and can bid up. And notice at the public auction, the standard ones start at 200, but the premium start at 400 and go up. So I'm going to try my best during this round to get as many as I can, hoping that I get some premium ones because I'd like that a lot more than paying 400 a piece. Essentially, five that starting that that starting price is equivalent to about five of these um five of these is just a little bit more but um that that would give me a 50 50 chance even of getting a premium gives me a good chance of getting a special and then a bunch of standard ones right so I like the way they set this up it looks pretty interesting to me now here's here's their actual interface this is one of my accounts here and you can see all my kitsumon and i was breeding a bunch of these hybrids and playing around with it here's one of my cool hybrids another one of my cool hybrids that one um notice these come from the same parents i think but this one got different ears than the other one did um these are some more of the hybrids i bred same parents with these two actually this was one of the parents and this was the other parent and notice the first three i did all came out white with two of them having that special tail this is another one of those hybrids that i did i bred this one but i think i bred this one with a ferroa and you can see some of the markings there so clearly i had some fun with the breeding um i'm looking forward to this land sale it's going to be amazing now we're all investors here right so we're always thinking really I want to know if these land pieces will 300x in the coming five years. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a crystal ball. I can't see into the future. I have just, I just have to make educated guesses after doing my research. Yes, I personally will be buying Kitsumon land. I'm really hoping I get lucky and get some of the premium and special lands. And if this game does well, the value on those could be absolutely amazing. I like the team behind Kitsumon, and so far their delivery on what they've been putting together has been exceptional. I do have that link below for the land sale whitelisting form. You will want to complete that as well as a link to the Medium article. Before we go, I want to share one more thing, right? So this is currently Axie Infinity land prices for these entry level ones, and this is how well this is done. Now, I don't like to chase boats I already missed, and thankfully I didn't miss this boat. I made a huge amount of money from my Axie Infinity buys. But let me share with you, in 2019, January of 2019, when the land sale opened, these went within a matter of like two or three days, all these Savannah plots. They were selling for 0.05 ETH, which at the time ETH was under $100. It was about $80, but let's just say it was $100 for round numbers. So these were selling for $5. Even still today, the entry level land price on Axie Infinity is 300x what that initial price was. 300x, even though it's way down from, I think these were all the way up at like $13,000, which would be in the thousands of X's, right, on returns. Now, a game that gets massive traction, do you see how the prices can do so well? And what's interesting is Axie Infinity use of this land isn't even in the game yet. So these are speculative prices. Now, some people might think, well, Rain, why don't you just buy Axie Infinity land? Well, because most of the gains have been had. I don't, I can't see in the future to know that Axie Infinity will continue the trajectory it already had. So it's already pumped quite a bit and need to get these entry level entry-level lots, I'm starting at $1,500. Well, 
over $1,500. And it escalates into $1,600 and then $1,700 and then quite quickly goes up to $2,600. Yeah, why would I take those kind of risks when I can look at new upcoming projects that are still at their base level prices? take some of those risks because though Axie Infinity hit a really good run, we don't know if that run is going to continue. So I'm looking for the great games out there that have a chance to do what Axie's already done or possibly even go further because the return potential return on investment for me is so much higher. And I would rather diversify across a few projects like that then bet on one that's already hit some numbers, hoping that it will hit even higher numbers in the future. That's just how I handle my risk and how I think about it. At the end of the day, you get to do your research and make your decisions. Just remember, though, the crypto market is slow right now. And know that good decisions made during these pullbacks, they lead to life-changing ones when the market turns around. And the rains will come again. And the projects that have planted their seeds well and nurtured them well will flourish. And those of you who have found, invested in, been patient with those projects or portfolios will flourish. This wrap is for all of you to reinforce the principles that I share that make all the difference in higher returns. We'll see you soon. To the space, chasing all of the gains, chasing the pumps and all of the hype trains. But like in life, uh, shit, right before you could, it was going to buy when it was pouring like a rain, make it should. I buy when it's down, don't chase the boats that I miss, uh, cause I always made the time in mind. I sit the one out, cause I'm patient like that, hands off, wait for the right time. I sell when it's high, I buy when it's low, they call me rich, they call me smart. I'm just a rainmaker running the show Calculated investments I don't leave with my heart uh, The principles are simple to leave in a lot yeah. Why when it's boring, just gotta be smart I sell when it's hype like all the channels they pump it That's when I was selling your parabolic and dunk it They call me rich, they call me smart uh, I'm a rainmaker making my own star I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, yeah it's going so fast The game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, hey it's asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker Investments I love And I follow what I learn Not relying on luck uh, Time is never better The time like the present The next five years is a gift And it's feeling like heaven it I'm is. committed to learn Studying to know that Nothing comes easy But when knowledge the game show Sticking at this wrong Consume will come a bear market Learning and growing And when it's slow Would be the target They say it's come out Bitcoin is dead The massive decreases Can get to your head Sticking around The time is better I'm strong like that I'll let the others be friends Two years time The ball will bring back the games That makes it worth the effort Cause here comes the rain So let's go rain makers Let's make it all happen The goal of the hate Say the haters be cracking I'm here for five years Let's do this together the time is right, the time could be better They call me rich, they call me smart I'm a rainmaker, making my own star I'm with the future, learning the past Makes the time fly by, years going so fast This game plan is mine, I'll own it now When I reach the top, hey, it's asking me how Cause I'm a rainmaker, investments I love And I follow what I learn, not relying on luck uh, Haters be hating, the time has slowed down Addressing what they say when I'm wearing my crown They're chasing green candles like someone who was new I got a vision that was bigger Helping me to push through I'm still human and sometimes it is rough And that's what makes me special Simply I stay tough Cause I'm a rainmaker Investments I love And I follow what I learn Not relying on luck uh.